The first thing you need to know about Microsoft PowerPoint is how you can add these items that we call them slides into your project. So this is very important because we always need to add new slides. One slide is not going to be enough for us in most cases. So how we do that is by coming to this home tab we have over here, the section slides, and here we have plenty of different options. The first is this new, new slide button, which we can click on. And as you see, we get a new slide. I can click again, we get a new slide. Again, 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 and as you see, this is how I can add new slides to my project but this doesn't end here as you see we got plenty of slides which look exactly the same they all have this title and all have this text over here but the first one used to look different it was like this you know but the other ones are like this these are actually all called slide types and we have plenty of them actually you can always come and click this toggle in order to open this drop down up and as you see we have plenty of different styles of slides which we can use for different uh, purposes we have title slide we have title and content section header to content comparison title only blank content with caption picture with caption the number of these styles we have over here is very dependent on the theme that you have chosen or the preset that you have chosen to edit so when we were in this new tab if you remember over here as i said we have multiple of these different themes over here which we can use from and I, as I said, if you have appropriate internet connection, you probably are seeing all of them. You can load from them and use them over here. And if you're using a different theme or different template, you are most likely to see more or less of these styles depending to that template that you are using. We also have this layout, which is about changing the style to the current slide. We have reset, and we can add section. So sections are about categorizing our slides. As you see over here, I added one, for example. Uh, you can always come select a slide and add a section and name it something like for example i say chapter three for example you know and like this we can organize our slides into slide sections up uh, in order to change the position because um, in our presentations the order to the slides are very very important and in order to change that order, uh, all you need to do is that you just need to click and drag the slide that you need to change the order of and drag it. And by dragging and dropping it, as you see, you can change the order to your slides just like that. You also can delete a slide by right clicking on it and clicking delete slide we get plenty of other options like duplicate slide or new slide over here as well you also can always come to sections right click on section names and by clicking remove section you will be able to remove the section you know you can rename it over here we can move section down or up and as you see we have remove section and slides or we have remove all sections, which will do something like it just did. Uh, so this is what we have with slides. 
The video you just watched is a part of the Takeoff College, the smartest alternative currently available for the traditional education. If you are looking for improving your real-world skills with project-oriented courses, or if you are looking to increase the value of your time on a daily basis as either an employee or a business owner, for over 15 courses bundle, plus our over 50 upcoming courses and all the updates, plus individual certificates of completion for each course, obtain your lifetime access today, paying our one-time fee with a great discount inside www.thetakeoffcollege.com. Learn more in order to earn more. It's always been like that. See you inside the program.